Praise the name of the Lord. This morning we are going into the Old Testament in the book of Judges. We are in the book of Judges chapter 7. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. And we are reading from verse 7 to 9 and 13 to 14. Chapter 7, 7 to 9, 13 to 14. And it reads, And the Lord said unto Gideon, with the three hundred men who lapped, I will deliver you and give you the Midianites and give the Midianites into your hands. Let all the others return every man to his home. So the people took provision and their trumpets in their hands. And he sent them to the rest of Israel. He sent all the rest of Israel, every man, to his home. And returned and, ret and retained those 300 men. And the host of Midian, Midian was below him in the valley. That same night, the Lord said to Gideon, Arise, go down against their camp, for I have given it into your hands we're going down to verse 13 and 14 when Gideon arrived behold a man was telling a dream to his comrade to his fellow man and he said behold I dreamt a dream and behold a cake of barley bread tumbled into the camp of Midian and came into the tent and struck it so that it fell and turned it upside down so that the tent lied, lay flat. And his comrade replied, This is nothing else but the sword of Gideon, son of Joas, a man of Israel. Into his hands God has given Midian and all the hosts. Hallelujah. We thank God for his word this morning. The word of God is blessed this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, O oh God, this morning. We thank you, O oh God, that we can be in your presence, Lord, to glorify, to magnify your name, God. Lord, your worship, O oh God, we have already worshiped and invited your presence, God, as we are here. Your presence is in this place, God. And Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray, God, that your word, O oh God, will go forth, O oh God, those who are viewing by Facebook, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I pray, O oh God, Lord, that the word will not fall on deaf ears this morning but God it will fall upon the lives of your people and their hearts oh God will be encouraged this morning father we thank you for your word God and God we ask oh God we dismantle every plan of the enemy oh God that will come to steal your word this morning God we say Satan we serve you notice you have no authority in the house of God or in the lives of God's people we command you to take your flight and go in the name of Jesus God set your angels oh God around this place God Lord let your warring angels go to war on our behalf this morning in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah 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 thank you Lord this morning I want to share on the topic God is fighting for you you may have your seat worshipers God is fighting for you what I what did I say praise the Lord in the previous chapters of the book of Judges we see Israel fail to remove all those who dwell in the land God had promised them. Israel did evil in the sight of God. When you read the book of Judges, you would see in most of the chapters, there is this statement, Israel did evil in the sight of God. They forgot their God and they began to worship false god god allowed the midianites and the amalekites because the israelites had sinned against god because they were worshiping other gods god allowed the midianites and the amalekites to come and dwell in where the israelites were the bible said that the amalekites and the midianites they destroyed everything 
Everything the Israelites would plant, their sheep, their cattle, everything they wiped out. The Israelites were in a, in a starvation position. They had nothing to eat. Israel suffered, the Bible said, for seven years at the hands of the Midianites. They were conquered and afflicted by their enemies. But every time, every time Israel cried to God, God came and delivered them. But when God would deliver them and he would set up men over them, they would go right back into their false worship. The cycle will continue and continue. God, when God, th that time in, 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 in the Midianite camp, God sent a prophet to remind the children of Israel how he brought them out of bondage and all of that. And we see God came to Gideon. He came to Gideon. Gideon was one of those judges in those days. God told him, he said, I would use you to deliver my people from their enemies. But Gideon lacked faith. And God reassured him with signs after signs. He also gave him three men who God himself handpicked. These men were ready to fight. God chose 300 men and they were ready to fight. Listen to me, you got to be ready to fight. You got to be ready to fight. God told Gideon he will save Israel from his enemies. The Bible said though there were, there were about 32,000 people. Gideon, when God told him that he would go and fight, Gideon went to his, his clan and he called about 32,000. When God saw it, God said to Gideon, Gideon, this is too much. It's too much, Gideon. God said to Gideon, he said, Gideon, talk to the people in their ears and tell them if they are afraid, if they are terrified, they can go back home. The Bible said, 22,000 left. So 10,000 remain. My God. 10,000 remain. 10,000. God said, Gideon, 10,000 is still too much. 10,000 is still too much. You know, many times God wants to do great things through us. But we are taught in so many things. Some of us, it's people. Some of us, we have so much people making decisions, giving us advice that we cannot even hear the voice of God. Because we have so much, so much around us. They are crowding, they are crowding us and it's difficult to hear what God is saying. I'm here to tell you this morning, we need to get rid of some of those too many. We need to get rid of some of those too many. God said to Gideon, 10,000 Gideon, it's too much. So hear what I will do. I want you to bring them down to the waters. Bring them down to the waters so I will test them. You know, we like to say, God, don't test us. That, that can be silver. God, no, God, don't do that. Bible said it, I ain't say it. Huh? God said, bring them down and I will test them. Listen, God is going to test you, sister. God is going to test you, brother. God is going to put you to the test. The word test means to prove by trial. It means to prove by trial, God is going to allow some stuff to take place in your life to see your response and your reaction. It's going to test you. Peter 4.12 says, don't be surprised of the fiery trials that comes to test you as though something that is a surprise to you. Trials is going to come. 
Trials is going to come in your life, but it comes to make you strong. Listen, when trials come, it doesn't come to, to bring you down, to cause you to fall or to fail. That's not the God that we serve. God wants to strengthen inside of you because he has a plan and a purpose for you to fulfill. That's why trials come. God said to Gideon, he said to Gideon, I will go and test these people. And who I say, not Gideon, who God says will go, will go. And who I say won't go, won't go. These men were tested by the way they drank and their position. Hmm. They were tested by the way they drank the waters and the position they took. Out of 10,000, 9,700 knelt on both knees. The, the 9,700, 9, they got down on their knees and they bent. The Bible said they bent, they bowed down. They took their two hands and they cupped the waters. That's how they went and drank. The Bible said those who lap like a dog, listen, those who lap like a dog, they didn't go down. Those men were in, if they were in a position, if anything happened, they were ready to fight. So they were standing in a way that were crunched down. So if anything happened, they could have gotten up and begin to fight. And they lapped, they lapped with one hand. We cannot lap like dogs. Dogs tongue, I have a dog. Dog tongues are long. They curl the waters inside their mouth. We can't do that. Our tongues are not so long. So that's why God said, he said, those that lap, those that lap like the dog, they, they are the ones that I'm going to choose. Listen, these men were alert. They were in alert position. They were crunched down and ready. If anything happened, they could have gotten up and begin to fight. God wanted Gideon and his men to know that this battle would not be their battle. And listen, God will do some strange things sometimes. God took the minority. Remember 9,700 knelt, eh? 300. God took the minority because listen, when God is fighting a battle, God don't need us, you know. God will fight the battle for us. My God, as God's people, we must be alert. We must be alert. Listen, whatever battles you may be facing this morning, and I know that I know that there are many people that are facing battles. My God, but I'm here to tell you, get ready. Get ready to fight. Stand and be strong in the Lord because God is going to fight for you. He's going to fight for you. You don't have to lift a finger this morning. God is going to fight for you. The word of God says that the battle is not ours. It's the Lord's this morning. God is going to fight for you. God is going to see you through this morning. God tested these men and they were ready to fight, brother. They were ready to fight. Remember when God tested Abraham? God said, Abraham, take your only son. I find that was a real hard thing. Eh? God said, take your only son, the one that I gave you that you couldn't make in the first place. Take him and offer him up unto me. The Bible said Abraham obeyed God. Abraham is now the father of faith. My God, listen, as a child of God, you must be ready. You must be willing to do whatever God says to do. As a child of God, listen, you're going to fight against the works of darkness. You're going to fight against the schemes. You're going to come up against wicked and witches and warlocks. But listen to me. God is going to fight for you. God is going to fight for you. You don't have to lift a finger this morning. God says for us when we get into that mood and into that warfare, you need to fight with faith. Fight with faith. Fight with faith this morning. Fight with faith this morning. The Apostle Paul wrote in Timothy 6.12, fight the good fight of faith. Fight the good fight of faith. 
I don't know if you all ever noticed, he mentioned fight twice in that little phrase. Fight to quote fight of faith. Listen, there are times that you are going to be required to fight. You're going to be required to fight. Yes, you have faith, but you're going to be required to fight. If you are going to walk by faith and not by sight, fight will be required in your faith this morning. Don't think the devil will leave you just so for you to live a joyous and happy life. No, he's not going to do it. He is doing his job to bring you down. He's coming after you with everything that he got. My God, the, the Bible said the devil came to kill, to steal, and to destroy. That's his work. That's his work this morning. We cannot allow the enemy to overtake us. Right. Hallelujah. Listen, God knew Gideon. Gideon was afraid. He said to, his, he said to Gideon, Gideon, God is something else, you know. He said, Gideon, if you're afraid, go with your servant. You know, you would think, well, God would say, why are you fearing? Is, is God talking to you? You're fearful. But God said, Gideon, if you're afraid, take your servant with you. I want you to go down into the enemy's camp. Now, that is something strange, eh? These people looking to kill the Israelites. And God is saying to Gideon, the man who he called, who he called to deliver Israel, he said, go down into their camp. Some of us will have run. He said, go down into the enemy's camp. Listen, God has not given you a spirit of fear this morning, but of power and love and of a song mind. You can conquer the enemy this morning. You don't have to be afraid. The word of God says that we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus this morning. Whatever you put your mind to, whatever you put your mind to, you can conquer it. You can achieve it. You can accomplish it. You just have to step out in faith and believe that God, every step you take, that God is with you. God is fighting for you. My God. As God's people, we must not allow fear or anything, anything whatsoever, anything whatsoever to hold us back. Don't allow anything to hold you back. Listen, you serve a mighty God this morning, sister. You serve a mighty God this morning. The Bible said in chapter 6 of verse 15, Gideon began to talk to God. Gideon began to say, God, you know what? I, my clan is the poorest of the clan. God, my clan is the poorest and I am the least in my father's house. Listen to me. God is not concerned about what you are or what you not are. From the foundation of time, God called you. God knew what he put inside of you. Listen, God will not ask you to do something that you are not equipped to do. Some of us, we are looking at our faults and God said, take your eyes off yourself and begin to look at me. I am the one that is going to take you through. I am the one that is going to fight for you this morning. Gideon, all Gideon saw was his faults. It's time to st start seeing yourself as God sees you this morning. Some of you who are viewing this morning, you're seeing yourself as a failure, unlearned, coward. Listen, God says you are brave. You are intelligent. Listen, you are going to conquer great and mighty things for God. Don't let nobody tell you who you are, what God says you are. That's what you are this morning. You are a mighty conqueror this morning. Hallelujah. Thank God he doesn't see us as we see ourselves. My God. My God, my God, when God met Gideon in chapter 6 and verse 12, I like God. God said, Gideon, you are a mighty man of valor. You are a mighty man of valor. You are a man full of courage. Now remember Gideon, afraid of, but God is saying, Gideon, you are a mighty man of God. You see, God was looking on the outside. He knew what he planted in Gideon's heart. So he said, Gideon, 
you are a mighty man of God. You are a mighty man of God. When you look at the name Kideon, Gideon, I know the meaning, you know the meaning of your name. <laughs> The name of Gideon means mighty warrior. It means great destroyer. It means cut down. My God, remember in chapter 6 of Judges when God told Gideon to go and break down the, uh, the, the altars of Baal and Asherah. You know what God did? He said, break it down, Gideon. Break it down. Offer a sacrifice unto me on that stronghold. And he said, take, take the grove. Meaning take Asherah, the poles that they had up and alongside Baal. He said, take them and use them as wood to burn my offering. Listen, there is only one God. There is only one God. And his name is Jesus Christ. There is no other God. None whatsoever. Imagine God use their God's wood to offer up sacrifice to him. That's the God that we serve this morning. That's the God that we serve this morning. Come on and give him praise this morning. Our God is a mighty God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Listen. Listen, God called Gideon. He said, Gideon, you are a great destroyer. You are a man of valor this morning. My God, it's so important. Charlene, it's so important as parents. As parents, you give your children godly names. The name Gideon means mighty warrior, mighty destroyer. And that's exactly what God called him. Name your children godly names this morning so they will align themselves with what you, your parents, have given to them. <laughs> Hallelujah. My God. God said to Gideon, He said, Gideon, go down into the enemy's camp because I want you to hear. And I want you to hear, and I want you to hear what they are saying because you're going to be strengthened by it. <laughs> God said to Gideon, go down. Sometimes God will ask you to do crazy things, brother. He's going to ask you to do some weird things. My, see, my God, God, is really you? God, is really you talking to me? God will ask you to do some crazy thing. It may look crazy to you, but not to God. It may look crazy to you, but not to God. You see, we have to understand that God's ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts this morning. God thinks beyond whatever we can ever think or imagine this morning. That's the God that we serve this morning. This morning, you may be watching and you may be feeling, Oh God, my God, I'm feeling so frustrated. Time, oh God, Lord, I, I don't know what to do, Lord. There are some of you right now, you are contemplating on suicide. Let me tell you something. Your life belongs to God. God formed you from the very foundation of the earth. The devil wants to steal your life, but God gave you life because you have a purpose. You have a destiny to fulfill this morning. Do not take your life. Give your heart to God this morning. Serve him. I don't care what the battle is. God is going to fight it for you. God is going to bring you through this morning. Begin to trust in God this morning. Begin to trust in God this morning. You have hope in God. Some of you are on your jobs. My God, I had a friend was telling me, she said they're doing all kind of things for her to lose her job. Listen, if God place you there, you stay right there. God is going to fight for you. It have people like vultures maybe looking at, looking at you and probably they want to say, listen, as soon as she mess up, I will get that position. You stand your ground and you hold on to God. And God is going to fight your battle on that job. If God place you there, you stay right there this morning, my sister. Hallelujah. God is going to come true for you this morning. Today I want to encourage you. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. It's going to become tough. Listen, there are hard times coming. But God promised he will make a way of escape for us. You don't have to worry. Don't you be afraid. Come on and trust in God. Don't get weary in well-doing. Hang in there. God says, I'm coming. I'm going to fight for you. I'm going to fight for you. I'm going to fight for you. My
my God. God is going to fight for you this morning. You don't have to worry. And don't you fear this morning. Hallelujah. There is nothing, my God, that God cannot do. My God, the Bible said. Hallelujah. The Bible said when Gideon and his servants went down into the camp his servant sorry went down into the camp into the midnight camps Gideon don't play with God you know don't play with God God caused Gideon to be the, at the outpost of the tent where these men were speaking my God and God gave the man a dream it wasn't the man that dreamt the dream it was God who placed the dream into his heart my God and he began to speak the dream he said I dreamt a dream and a, a I dreamt a cake of barley bread stumble and it struck the tent of the Midianite my God and it fell upside down and the tent laid flat my God God caused not only the man to dream a dream but God placed a man with interpretation to interpret it the dream interpreted the dream my God listen God is going to do wonders in our season and in our time God said listen God caused the man to interpret the dream here is what the man said he said this is nothing else it is nothing else but the sword of Gideon it is the sword of Gideon Joash son of is the man of Israel who God has delivered the Midian and all the host into their tent God caused Gideon God caused Gideon to be right there to hear these men speak about his victory. Listen, don't you play with God. Don't you play with God. God called Gideon army to speak strength into your life, into his life. Don't despise where God has you. Don't despise those who are wrong you. You know they're not for you. You don't have to worry about that. You don't have to cry. You don't have to fret yourself. God is going to fight for you. God is going to see you through. My God, when Gideon heard this thing, my God, the Bible said that Gideon began to worship. He left the camp and he began to worship. Listen, listen, don't despise where you are or where God has sent you. Don't despise it. God never makes mistakes. God is a God and he knows all things. Listen, God is going to put you in the right place at the right time to hear the right words. Gideon heard his victory, my God. Gideon heard the victory of the words of triumph out of his enemy's mouth. Victory came. Listen, God will cause your enemies to bless you, to speak good about you. You don't have to worry about it. Give it to God. Give it to God this morning. Hallelujah. The Bible said when Gideon heard it, he began to worship. When I saw that, I said, God, oh God, help us to get it, God. Help us to get it, God. The man heard it. He said he began to worship. I don't know if Gideon fell on the face, his face, if he lifted his hands, if he, however he worshiped God. All I know, the Bible said that Gideon began to worship God. After Gideon worshiped God, my God, we see Gideon comes to the camp. My God, he says, listen, we have the victory. We have the victory. I want to tell you this morning, God is with you. If we realize in the text, God told Gideon, he said, Gideon, I am with you. I am with you, Gideon. I am with you. Listen, God is with you this morning. God is with you this morning. Hallelujah. You see, when God says something, it has to come to pass. It has to come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, Gideon, Gideon fought, Gideon came into the camp. Listen, I want to encourage us that when we get ready to fight and we fight with faith, we must also fight to win. Yeah. Fight to win this morning. Yeah. 
with God on your side you can win the battle you can overcome any trial or any testing that is in your way sister God says you're gonna overcome in the name of Jesus but you gotta trust him you got to obey him even though Gideon was afraid Gideon obeyed God he obeyed God he did what God said to do Gideon returned to the camp with such confidence he said listen he said to the Israelites he said get up get up arise let us go into the enemy's camp because God has given them into our hands this morning time after time God reassured Gideon that he was with him and the battle will be won hallelujah thank you Jesus the devil is a liar yes. hallelujah thank you Jesus listen when God gets ready to give your enemies into your hands listen he is going to place them right where you can see them he's going to place them right where you can see them listen the no devil in hell can stop God from what God has destined for you to do you have to put you have to put your trust in God God is going to put them right where you can see them the Bible said that the Midianites my God they was in, they were in the valley in Jezreel they were in the valley listen we have to understand the word of God the, the enemies was in the valley the Midianite was below the Israelites oh my God my God God wanted them to know that their enemies was already beneath them the devil was already defeated listen God is gonna put them right where you can have access to them the devil is under your feet this morning my God when Jesus went to the cross he shed his blood that's why we have victory in the name of Jesus Jesus Christ dismantled every arm he dismantled every arm every spirit all spiritual rulers he dismantled them all those of authority he dismantled them we have victory in the name of Jesus you have power to trample upon the enemy the children of Israel my God my God the Bible said that the children of Israel they were in they were on the mountains they were on the hills they were in dens and caves God's people but they were above my God hallelujah they were above their enemies hallelujah 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 they were above their enemies this morning my God the children of Israel they head in cliffs and in mountains and in the hills sometimes God is gonna place you in some rugged places he's gonna place you in some desert places he's gonna place you in some hard places but if you just wait if you just wait if you just hold on if you just hold on God says they that wait upon the Lord he shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like eagles they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint this morning come on give God some praise this morning give him some praise this morning God is worthy to be praised he's worthy to be praised this morning you know when I heard that the children of Israel were in dens and cave it brought me back David when David was running from Saul my God hallelujah hallelujah thank you Jesus David was running from Saul the Bible said that God told Samuel he said Samuel go down to Jesse's house anoint I have chosen my servant listen go don't play with God sometimes the people that we think God is gonna use God said no 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 seven brothers passed by my God they all looked apart but they were not the one that God had chosen God chose David imagine God anointed David he chose David to be king he appointed him king over Israel and now the king is 
running from Saul and he's hiding in caves. My God, listen, don't despise where you are. When God gets ready, he's going to bring you out. He's going to elevate you. My God, David became king. He became king. Don't despise where you are just for a season. Season come and season go. Hallelujah. 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 Don't despise where you are. The Israelites were in the mountains and in the hills. Hallelujah. But God gave them a clear view. The Bible said Gideon when he when he went down he divided he divided his army into three groups 100 100 100 my god my god these men were ready to fight who would think 100 men can fight again a vast army the bible described the midianites as numerous as sand of the sea and here god is saying you are going to win the battle with these three men because i am god and i am with you and i am fighting for you gideon got them ready and they went down into the camp oh my god my god hallelujah akim get ready my god my god listen god is gonna fight for you my god no god israel and Gideon said, he said, listen, I have given you trumpets. I have given you a picture with fire on the inside. Listen, God has given his Holy Spirit. His Holy Spirit is inside of us. You are not alone. You are not walking alone. You are not just some little child. You are not just some ordinary person. The Holy Spirit is inside of you. You have fire on the inside. Listen, when the fighting when the battle began the bible said look 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 listen listen before i go there listen when god was fighting the battle when god is fighting your battle unusual things will happen eh? unusual things god is going to use unusual thing gideon told his men he said look here are some pictures some trumpet and the fire inside god gideon told the men he said listen look at me and do what i do my god when we are obedient to god god is going to come true for us the bible said at the midnight hour at the midnight hour Gideon began to blow the trumpet. Gideon began to blow the trumpet. They were outside. My God. My God. The trumpet began to blow. The trumpet began to blow. Could you imagine? I'm sure some angels. I'm sure some angels. Angels gathering. And they were worshipping along with these men. My God. My God. Each one. Each one. Each one. began to break their chars oh my god i could just imagine the song of the trumpet and the bass and they're breaking oh my god my god what a triumph that must have been my god the bible said when they broke the lamps holy god when they broke the lamps sister they began to shout they began to shout do you recognize their weapons their weapon wasn't sword and gun or, or nice their weapons was their worship their weapons was their praise they began to worship god they began to shout with a voice of triumph listen no matter what is going on in our nation don't you let it take away from what god says you will do if god call you to worship worship him if god call you to preach preach the word of god if god call you to serve serve him this morning my god come on come on and give god a shout this morning give god a praise this morning god says for us to use our weapons this morning our weapons are not carnal our warfare is they're not carnal but they are our weapons are not carnal but they are mighty true the pulling down of strongholds this morning our weapons of our warfare are not carnal but they are mighty true god true god this morning 
remember Joshua when Joshua failed when Joshua went into Jer Jericho the Bible said that they marched around six times six times and on the seventh time they began to shout and the walls came tumbling down God wants us to worship him listen God is in the midst of us God is in the midst of us when the Israel began to shout the Bible said that the Midianites they ran out they ran out out of their tent so confused listen God caused terror in that tent my God they began to kill one another swipe up one another when they realized what was happening the Bible said they left, they fled, they fled the scene. Listen, God is going to fight your battles for you. When the Midianites realized what was happening, they took off and ran. They took off and ran this morning. Hallelujah. Listen, God is going to fight your battles. God is going to fight your battles this morning. God is going to fight your battles. Sometimes we may be facing some terrible things. We may be facing some terrible things. God is going to fight your battles this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Come on and give God praise this morning. God is going to fight your battles. God is surrounding you this morning. You don't have to worry. You don't have to fear. God is going to fight for you. God is going to fight for you this morning. Come on and lift your hands and give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise this morning. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you this morning. God is surrounding you. It may seem like the enemy is coming after you but I want to encourage you this morning God is surrounding you God is standing with you you don't have to fear you don't have to worry this morning there are unseen angels God himself is surrounding you the devil may be prowling but he will not be able to come near your dwelling this morning I want to encourage you encourage you when Listen, the word of God says that he has given his, our hands to war and our fingers to fight. Our weapons are not with material weapons. We use our mouth to praise. We use the word of God to fight against the wiles of the enemy. God says he's going to fight your battles for you. God says to get ready. God says to have faith in him. God says fight to win. Listen, we're going to fight to win this morning. In the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Come on and lift your hands and give God praise. Give God praise now. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. want you worship us to sing the song Jesus in the name of the song that you were singing Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah, hallelujah listen Jesus. the devil is defeated this hallelujah. morning the devil is defeated this morning the devil is defeated yes, this amen. morning you have victory in the name of Jesus hallelujah 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 I just want to pray I just want to pray this morning Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, then the worshipers will take over. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, God, Lord, I know you gave me this word for somebody that is viewing God. Oh, God, somebody, oh, God, that is contemplating taking their life. Oh, God, you're sitting and the tears are crying, coming down your face, and you don't know what to do. I'm here to tell you this morning, God is going to fight for you. Yes. You don't have to take your life. Hallelujah. Your life is precious to God you may be frustrated you may be up you may be in an abuse situation right now God says he's 
going to fight for you. He's going to bring you through this morning. Yes. So Father Lord, I ask you to fight on behalf of your people this morning. God, fight for them, God, in the oh, name yes, of God. Jesus Christ. I praise God. Praise God. I pray for those. Hallelujah. I just want to ask those you may be viewing and you don't know Jesus Christ. Listen, the best decision that you can make is give your life to him this Amen. morning. God will turn your life around. He's going to fight for you. He's going to provide for you this morning. So if you are listening and you don't know Jesus Christ, I want you to say this simple prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I come to you. I come to you. A sinner. A sinner. Lost in my sins. Lost. I ask you, Lord Jesus. I ask you, Lord Jesus. To forgive me of my sins. Me of my sins. Wash me in your precious blood this morning. Wash me in your precious blood. Lord, I thank you this morning. Lord, I for thank coming you. into my life. For coming into my life. And saving me. And saving me. I repent me. of all my sins. I repent of I all accept my sins. you. I accept you as my Lord as my Lord and as my Savior it's simple as that listen if you have said that prayer I want you to call the office there will be someone there to talk with you and to encourage you this morning hallelujah come on and let's give God praise this morning worshipers hallelujah, hallelujah.